Hello guys, welcome to the Such Talk with Chiso and today I'll be talking on planning where I have with me a guest. Stay tuned. So guys, guess who we have here? We have here Ori Olufayo, popularly known as Olufayo. So can we meet you ma? Hi, Chisum Steven. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Okay. My name is Oye Holofayo. I prefer to be called Oye Fire. Better still, you can call me Fire. So, I'm a, I'm a sustainable environmental goals advocate. Yeah, that's SDGs. I'm an human rights activist. I'm a blogger. I currently serve as special advisor of conflict and resolution to presidency for National Association of University of Nigeria students okay. now all over Nigeria. So, that's all I do. Thank you. Okay, that's a whole lot. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. Oh, it's my honor. Okay, so today on the Such Talk with you, so we're talking on planning, planning. So sometimes this year, earlier this year, you start organizing a program over a slice of pizza. And yes. I, it got to, I got to understand that it's about planning. It's about planning. So what is it about? What over a slice of pizza about? Yes, I did. Uh, actually, let me correct that. It was last day. Okay, okay yeah, but, my bad. It's supposed to hold this year, but it did hold. But it's still to hold around the hippie. And over a slice of pizza is a sh like it's very small gathering for like minds, for career set of people. Mm -hmm. Not even career per se, for whatever you do. It's just for you to come together with like about, about 10 or less than less than 10 people and talk about what you want to do with your hair. Like just come around and say it. Sometimes you may not even have the plan yet. But when you listen to other people's idea, then it brings up something in you, like it triggers something out in you. Okay, that's amazing. So, I'd love to ask you this question. How did you come up with this idea? What inspired you? What inspired you? You mean over inside the prison? Yes, ma'am. Actually, I'm a kind of, I mean, kind of, how do I put it? I love planning. Yeah, even my day, I plan my day absolutely when I wake up. Like, I write my to-do list. I write what I'm going to do with that, and I take it. Like, sometimes I don't, most times I don't fully take my to-do list. So I, I really love planning. So I feel like at the beginning of the year, you have to have a plan for that hair. You just have to, you just can't come and start working so that year without having anything in alignment with the hair. So I just for you to come around and then talk about it. That was what inspired me. I feel like everybody should just, Cause the same habit of planning your hair before you actually start it, and it's a very very good thing for you to talk about your hair. Because I feel like when you talk about it, it helps you a lot when you share it. I've read I've read an article before that says it is better to talk about your hair, and it might not be better. So it's like it's not. I'm not forcing you to talk about your hair, but it's like it's a choice. That is why it's even it's not free. So you have to pay a come. So it's when you have this kind of like what other it is when you have this kind of idea or mindset of sharing your plans that's all over it's like the business for for you so on the previous um video on such talk with Chiso, i listed four effective ways to planning i said by saying you have to think wow and uh, cultivating the, the productive thinking habit because i found out that one way or the other as humans we are always thinking but people would some people just um worry instead of thinking and they feel okay i'm thinking but it's but the truth is you are worrying but okay the productive thinking what do you think about it when you have productive thinking how do, what do you have to say about it yeah i really like that that's good kudos i really like that so talking about that yes most people think that when they think they have to have everything figured out when they think you don't have to have everything figured out you can still think and not get the right answer you can still think watch videos it's like read some things read articles and all that to help you trigger your thoughts mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean the way you're thinking you're going to get the right answer mm -hmm. but it's very essential you think it's very essential you sit down you calm down you figure out what you want to do even if you're not yet figuring it out you have to still think about figuring it out it is really essential to figure it out like it helps you like when you have a product thinking of what you want to do it gives you a clearer picture of what it is like even in your thoughts you that picture this is what i'm doing this is what i want to do this is what i want to do with it like it really helps a lot yeah, okay, so Ms. Oyinfayo, from what you do now, do you think that you are successful because of your habit of planning before time or something? I must say, success is relative, but seriously, planning has really helped me a lot. Because before I do some things, I really try to plan them. Mm -hmm. Last month, I wanted to volunteer for two, like two organizations that has to do with me, and that is um, Youth for Human Rights for International. So last month I knew I was going to apply for this. I I drew out my plans. I really I I filled my form 
this on my nose before I applied for it. Okay. Just that. So imagine me not planning for it. And these organizations, they really check a lot of things before they affect you. Like Girl of Africa, I really had to do the video continuously before I applied for it. So me planning really gives me a clear picture of what I want to do. Me planning gives me a kind of leverage above others because when you want to do something, you just have to like go ahead and plan them. When you plan them, it makes things easy. Okay. It's like you're writing down what you want to do today. Like you've already planned it. So knowing that when after today, like you really like make use of that today, like you will do a lot of things that has to be today. You just do outside the box, you do things you don't plan. So planning actually helps me a lot. Planning gives me leverage above others. Okay, thank you. So do you believe that there is such thing as over planning? Do you think that you can over plan? Well, that's my first time of hearing that. I don't think there's something like over planning. You can never run out of planning of things. It just helps you a lot. It helps you to move. It helps you. It gives you a clear picture of what you want to do. You can never over plan things. Planning your day, planning your month, planning your year, just helps you. It gives you a kind of easy platform to carry out what you've planned. Mm -hmm. So there's not like over planning. Just plan it, plans, plan it, and plan it again. Mm -hmm. And when it's not even working, go ahead and plan it again. Okay. You. I don't know if you've ever heard of this word analysis paralysis. People will tell you that um, when you analyze too much, you end up not doing anything. When you plan too much, you end up not doing anything. Do you think? I don't know, but you know, we all have, we all have different things that work for us. Me, yeah. planning works for me very well. So that's that you're talking about. That person should actually like, look well into what is really happening. It might not be planning, it's my actually procrastination. Okay. You can plan that you want to do this, and you're not doing this, and you're procrastinating. Yes, last week I planned out that I ordered to upload, uh, sorry, upload a, an article on my blog. I didn't do it because I procrastinated. So sometimes it's not even about your planning, it's about you. Like, even after planning, you have to articulate your thoughts. You have to like, go ahead and do the things that are on the list. Do you understand? You have to keep on and you have to pray yourself and you don't have to procrastinate. Okay, there's this, um, thinking that people have that planning births opportunities what do you have to say about that of course planning birth opportunities when you plan when you know what you want to do okay so imagine me being um an hr of an organization and then i want to employ you if i don't know what you've planned to become if i don't know your boy you want to do if i don't know anything and i'm coming to you so imagine me knowing you fine i just like the way you talk and communicate so I am coming to you and asking you for an opportunity. Like, okay, fine. I'm, I'm like, Chiso, also Chiso, what do you want to do? And you've not planned. You don't know what you want to do. You just tell me anything you want, and like anything I have in stock, I should give it to you. I can't give it. I can't give you that because you've not planned your life so perfectly. So who am I to intrude in your life? Do you understand? So really, planning better opportunities. When you plan, it's really like it makes it gives you a clear picture of what you want to do. Okay, thank you very much. Because over time, when people come to study, like they become popular or something, or we begin to hear about about a particular person, people think that they have, nothing has been going on on the ground. Right, they think that exactly. there's nothing, but they don't know that behind the whole fame, there's someone who has been doing something something consistently, yeah, not consistent. just, not, it's not like, I don't believe in luck, I don't believe in luck. I don't believe in luck either. Okay, yeah. thank you Ma. So what do you have for people who are stuck in between planning and opportunities and having opportunities, How, what do you think, what can you tell them? Okay, so the message I have for people out there is that you don't have to figure everything out. That's just the truth. You don't have to. It doesn't mean when you start planning today or everything. Just it doesn't mean that it's going to give you a clear picture of what tomorrow might look like. But just keep continuing, like continue, like persistency, like you said. It really helps a lot. It it gives you a leverage and it makes you think. Just think, like the previous video before this. Just think and be persistent and to work out for well. Okay, thank and you, so. thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being here with us. Hey, I'm so honored. It's an amazing that I learned a lot from you. Thank I you so you much. Too. Thank you so much. Yeah. So viewers, if you love this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And for more amazing content, please subscribe. don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Do you have any words? No, thank you very okay. much for the opportunity.